are at the world famous Fifth Street Gym, the home of 15 world champions and most importantly, Muhammad Ali. Anyone who's anybody wanted to see Muhammad Ali. The Beatles came here, Burt Lancaster came here, and Frank Sinatra came here. What happens here doesn't happen anywhere else. Come on, let's go. You know what they say, you hit somebody else, you feel better about yourself. My wife could care less about anybody in here other than as a fighter. But if the fighter happens to be a girl, get nasty, come on, punch. Forget about it. I look over and she's got the most miserable, hateful look on her face. Bro, I've never dated one of my students ever in my life. I'm not gonna start now that I'm married. What? My goal is to be in the fitness magazine. I'm a fitness competitor. I'm competing in a couple of weeks. Dino is my coach. He is very tough. He trained me like a fighter. I wanted to fight at least once. I say no way. Uh, you never want to fight anybody uglier than you. And everybody's more ugly than her, so she can't fight with anybody. But maybe one of these days I will fight by myself. And I say, I see you in the ring. <laughs> My mom is a unique character all on her own. I've been doing this since I'm 49 and I'm 67. At 67 years old, she trains as hard, if not harder, than any of the fighters. I don't fight anybody. I just, I fight the bags is who I fight. <laughs> I used to get beat up as a child, as a five-year-old, which is ridiculous. Who picks on a five-year-old? I guess six-year-olds do. My parents took me to a Kung Fu school. There was a poor kid there that uh, was so poor he was dirty, Ben Brown. And Ben Brown all of a sudden started coming with new, like the school jacket, get a new duffel bag. He said, Ben, where are you getting all this stuff from? He says, your daddy buys it for me every time I beat your ass in sparring class. Yes, that's absolutely true, yes. Uh, ben Brown, yeah, he got all the clothes and all the gear. <laughs> My son got the beatings. <laughs> No rest. Let's go. My father passed away very early of heart attack and, and obesity. He was, you know, 300 pounds and died of a heart attack. Every day that I don't ma even make oh, any money, go. but I'm here in the gym working out is a blessing and an opportunity for me to have one more day on this side of the dirt. Lazar is a, is a very unique case. More issues than Time Life magazine. He hates everybody. He's got a violent, horrible temper. He thinks the whole world has gone to crap. And when I fight, that's me. That's, that's what I like to do. I'm free to be me. Next fight is Jordan Parson and Lazar. I'm gonna let my opponent come up here and talk shit. The only thing he's good at. You got enough chip teeth now, I'm gonna knock them motherfuckers out your mouth, boy. Oh I'm gonna, you're gonna hit the mat. Nothing, nothing, I'm the champ. I'm smaller than my opponents usually. I'm the smaller guy, but I like to be a smaller guy. That's why they call me the pit bull. Tim Burr, Lazar oh. Stoyanovich, oh. knocking yeah. out Jordan Parsons, the knockout of the week. I met him at 17, I felt very often that his family didn't have the time for him that they should, and Turney moved in with me. And um, we've been together, you know, almost 24-7 since. Dino's like a father to me, so... Come on, Nico, over the rope, you're killing me. Nico doesn't have a reason to be fighting. Come on, make something happen, make something happen. He's got very wealthy parents. It's a very unique situation, and what makes it downright hysterical is when he pulls up in his $110,000 convertible BMW to these tournaments where he sticks out like a sore thumb. In the ring, throw him, Nico, throw him, throw him, throw him. There you go. He spars with pros and amateurs. He won the Florida State uh, novice title. And for a guy that's been only boxing here, it's unbelievable how far he's come. I train three times a day with Dino and Lazar. Yeah, he trains yeah. me and feeds me all the right foods, and it's just all thanks to them. Like a punch, Nico. Not like you're waving at somebody, let's go. Everyone thinks you gotta be poor to be tough. That's Seven. not the case. Six. Tough is something that's inside you, not in your bank account. And Three. Nico's proof of that. Two, one, time. Put your ball away. Hey! We train supermodels, we train professional athletes, we train actors. Matt Damon trains here, Dave Chappelle, the comedian, trains here, and Adriana Lima trains here. We welcome them in, and they are out of their minds. And they become different people. It takes a lot of guts to walk up those stairs when you hear the pounding of the bags and the jump ropes and the yelling and all this. Even when you're not the heavyweight champion of the world, you're not the best athlete, you're not, you know, the perfect weight, the perfect size, the perfect this, that, it's them and that bag, and nothing else matters. Oh.